All right. Uh, for the grade nines, uh, the first unit that uh, you will cover is um, on basic numeracy. Yeah? For basic numeracy, there, uh, when you're in grade eight, you will see that there's only uh, positive numbers. Huh? As you go up to grade nine, you will see that there's positive and negative numbers. You will cover it on the topic known as the directed numbers. Huh? So, what happens when we multiply, divide? add or subtract numbers with different signs okay so this is what happens now before we discuss that uh, you must uh, remember that there's positive numbers and negative numbers okay so before going on to addition and subtraction it's much better we look at multiplication and division of um, positive and negative numbers so let's look at this one here we have a rule there for multiplication and division the first one there we have multi multiplication there so we have positive times positive it will give us a positive okay negative times negative will give us a positive again remember it's not negative negative times negative is positive again negative times positive is negative and positive times negative is negative now if we place in numbers with the signs this is what happens okay so if we have positive now we have a number now you will you will recognize that every sign in front of a number it describes that number so we have two here and positive sign here it simply means that it's a positive two okay so we have it's much simpler if we multiply the signs first before we multiply the numbers okay so we have positive times positive positive times positive will give us positive so it's positive again and then you multiply two times two is four most of the times they just write four down so all the positive numbers sometimes are written without a positive sign okay we have negative times negative when we have negative times negative it will not give us a negative but it will give us a positive so if we have negative 2 times negative 2 let's multiply the signs first to make it easy negative times negative is positive 2 times 2 is 4 our answer again is positive 4 now it's going to be a little bit tricky when you come down to a negative times a positive okay so when you see negative times positive it will give you a negative for instance if we have negative 2 multiplied with positive 2 first you solve the signs negative times positive negative times positive is negative negative and 2 times 2 is 4 so your answer is negative 4 okay again positive times negative if it's positive 2 times negative 2 then positive times negative is negative negative 2 times 2 is 4 let's move down to division on the division there we have positive divided by positive is positive negative divided by negative is positive negative divided by positive is negative and positive divided by negative is negative so you will recognize so you will see that the product and the quotient okay of these two rules are the same okay so if you have positive times positive it will give you a positive positive divided positive will give you a positive negative div negative times negative positive negative divided negative is positive so everything is just the same the quotient and the product will be positive is if there's two same signs involved okay for example if we have positive 2 divided by positive 2 again positive divided by positive positive write down positive 2 divided by 2 is 1 so your answer is 1 negative divided by negative negative 2 divided by negative 2 negative divided by negative solve the sign first is positive positive 2 divided by 2 is 1 positive 1 there again negative divided positive is negative so negative divided positive is negative 2 divided by 2 is 1 same 2 divided by 2 here is negative 1 positive divided negative is negative so it's ne negative 1 again so it's just as easy as that um, so let's see okay so you will note that okay i have written a note there you will see that when you multiply or divide two numbers with the same sign you will have a positive answer remember that one when you multiply or divide two numbers with same sign you will have a positive answer the second one there we have is when you multiply or divide two numbers with different sign you will expect the answer to be negative okay now for this one we have only two numbers we are multiplying only two numbers okay 
or dividing with two numbers. Now let's see what happens if we multiply more than two numbers there. For example, our case here, we have a positive 8 times positive 2 times positive 3. It's very much easier if we, we solve them in pairs because we already familiarize, familiarized ourselves with dealing with two okay, pairs. So we can solve this one in pairs first and then we can find the final answer. For this one, we have positive 8 times positive 2 times positive 3. What we do now is we simply solve this one first and then we multiply with the last number there. Let's solve this one. So we have positive times positive is positive. Okay, here. Yeah. Positive times positive is positive. So we place down positive here. 8 times 2 is 16. Now we bring down the multiplication sign and positive 3. Again, positive times positive again. Positive times positive is positive. So you put down positive and 16 times 3 is 48. So your final answer is positive 48. Now what happens if we multiply 3 negative numbers together? Let's see. If we solve this one in pairs again, we will have negative 8 times negative 2. We solve this one. So negative times negative. Check your rules again. Negative times negative is positive. So you write down the sign first. Positive and 8 times 2 is 16. Bring down multiplication sign and negative 3. If you multiply ne negative with positive with negative, positive with negative you will have a negative therefore you put down negative 16 times 3 is negative 48 so your answer is not the same for a and b okay let's look at the last one the last one there we have um four numbers there with their signs what we do is we solve them we pair them up and we solve them and then we find the final answer so let's see this one we have positive 4 times negative 3 times negative 2 times positive 5 Okay, we have the first one there, it's positive times negative, so positive times negative is negative, write down our negative sign, 4 times 3 is 12, put down 12, bring down multiplication sign, solve this 2 again, negative times positive is negative, 2 times 5 is 10, okay, now you finalize your answer, here we have negative times negative, negative times negative is positive, so you put down positive and 12 times 10 is 120, so your final answer is positive 120 or just 120. Okay, what happens if we divide more than two numbers there? Okay, now I've, on the example A there, I've written a couple of things there just to clarify, okay? In other textbooks there, you will have positive 8 divided by positive 4. It's just the same as positive 8 over positive 4. Don't get confused there, okay? So let's look at the rules again. If we divide positive 8 by positive 4, it's simply the same as positive 8 over positive 4. So positive divided by positive is positive. Write down positive 8 on 4 is 2. So your answer should be 2 only or positive 2. What if we increase it to 2 numbers or 3 numbers? We have positive 8 divided by positive 4 divided by negative 2. What we'll do is we solve this pair first and then we move to the second one there positive 8 over positive 4 just the same when you have positive divided by positive is positive again 8 divided by 4 is 2 now over again for this division sign there bring down negative 2 positive divided negative is negative positive divided negative is negative so negative 2 divided by 2 is 1 again here same thing if we have negative 20 times negative 4 times positive 7 uh, not times divide divide okay then we will solve this pair first we have negative 20 over negative 4 negative divided by negative negative divided by negative is positive we write down positive and 20 divided by 4 is 5 bracket bracket divide sign down 7 now we can also write this one as the first one here, we can also express this one in this form where we have positive 5 divided by positive 7. Positive on positive is just positive again. So we can write it as 5 over 7 or you can write it in, or you can write it in uh, decimal point. Huh? Okay. So you have 
you can post this one and do the activities there and you have a couple of questions there you can answer that one and you comment your answers on the video there on the channel so i can go and check there later but if you want the answers um, you can solve it out and send your answers to me for continuation thanks